Sometimes we protect Excel worksheets with passwords to stop others from making changes or messing with the formulas. But there are times where we forget the password ourselves. In this video, I will show you an easy way to remove the password from a protected Excel worksheet. Take a look at this Excel worksheet. This worksheet is designed to print the payslips of more than 100 employees working in a company. Now let me show you how this template works. When I click on this cell against the label employee code, a drop down list will appear. This list contains the employee codes of all the employees working in the company. Now let me select an employee code from this list, XNC119. You will see that the employee's name, department and other details update automatically. Now we have the details of the employee corresponding to the employee code XNC119. Let me change the employee code once again XNC142 and the employee details update accordingly. And this worksheet is password protected to prevent accidental damages to important formulas and data. The only thing we can modify in this worksheet is the employee code. Now let's see what happens if we try to modify any other cell in this worksheet. For example, the cell displaying employee's name. You can see that this cell has a VLOOKUP formula in it. And if I try to edit this formula, Excel will display a warning message. The cello chart you are trying to change is on a protected sheet. To make a change, unprotect the sheet. You might be requested to enter a password. Okay. Let me try selecting these cells and deleting them. Excel will show the same warning message. As long as I remember the password, everything works fine. But what if I forget the password? and need to make changes to the worksheet before printing the payslips. Let me show you what we can do in that situation. Don't save. Since we are going to use an unconventional method, it is important to have a backup in case something goes wrong or the data gets affected. So let's make a copy of this workbook. Right click on the file. Copy. Right click. Paste. Next we need to change this excel file to a zip file. By default, an Excel file has .xlsx extension and we need to change that file extension to .zip. For that, go to the View tab in the Folder Explorer ribbon. Mark this checkbox against the label File Name Extensions. Right click on the file. Rename. Replace xlsx with zip. Enter. Yes. Open the zip folder, Excel, Worksheets. Our Excel workbook has two worksheets and these two XML files represent them. To remove the password from the first worksheet, we need to copy the corresponding XML file. Right click, copy, paste the file somewhere on the computer. Right click, paste, open the file using a text editor like Notepad. Right click. Open with Notepad. Now we need to search for the word protect. Edit. Find. Type in protect. Find next. Select the text starting from the opening angle bracket before sheet protection. Up to the next closing angle bracket. Now delete the selected text. Save and close the file. Cut the modified file and paste it back into the zip folder replacing the original file. Right click. Cut. Delete the XML file. Right click. Paste. Finally, we need to change the file extension of the zip folder back to an Excel file. Right click. Rename. Replace ZIP with XLSX. Enter. Yes. Let's open the Excel file. Since we have removed the password from the worksheet, we can make the required changes. See you soon with another Excel tip. Thank you for watching and wish you a great day.